Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been away for so long. I thought that when it came to summer and when I had my summer break from school, I would have loads of time to do extra filming and upload more videos than usual. But unfortunately, it was the complete other way around. I've been so busy working. My mum moved house, so I was having her move house. And so it was just all crazy, but I'm back now and I'm gonna film loads of videos for you guys to upload over the next few weeks. So because we are nearly at the end of August, which is so crazy, I can't believe it's gone so fast, but it means we're closer to Christmas. Yes. Anyway, so we are coming up to the end of August, which of course means back to school time. So I thought I would do a bit of a back to school minimal slash work makeup tutorial. So for this video, I'm sort of going to do three makeup looks in one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the really minimal makeup, as minimal makeup as possible for those of you who, you know, are at school and it doesn't allow a lot of makeup, but you still feel the need to maybe cover up some blemishes and that kind of thing. And then I'm going to kind of build on top of that all the way to somebody who maybe goes to work and wants a kind of really simple, effortless makeup look to go to work with. So, you know, you don't have to spend so much time in the morning getting ready, you can have a bit longer of a lie-in but still look gorgeous when you turn up to work. So without further ado, I am going to start with makeup look number one. So I'm only going to use three products for my first look and the first product is concealer. So for my concealer I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette in the shade Light Medium. Makeup Revolution is an absolutely fantastic range, the products are amazing quality for the price, they are pretty cheap. This palette was I think ranging from about 6 to 8 pounds which is amazing. I've had it a month and I've already hit pan on one of the concealers, I love it so much I can't believe it, I was so devastated. But Makeup Revolution also specialise in dupes of higher end products which I'll speak about a little bit more later on. So I'm going to start out with one of the lightest shades in the concealer palette and my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I'm just going to cover any redness on my face, sort of under my eyes, around my nose, on my chin, those kind of areas. So I'm just taking a little bit on my sponge and I'm just going to start stippling it into the areas where I just want a little bit of extra coverage. So as you can see I'm just taking this concealer under my eyes and around my nose and slightly onto my cheeks because I do get quite a lot of redness there. Also slightly across my nose as well. You can also use your fingers to apply this as well, there's no rules, you don't have to use a makeup sponge, you don't have to use a makeup brush. This is just my preferred method of doing this. This little sponge is so multi-purpose, you can use it for so many things, which is why I absolutely love it. Next product I'm going to use is just some brow gel. Now this step is completely optional. For some of you who have gorgeously bushy, lovely eyebrows, you don't need to do this or you could use this just to set your brows in place. For other people who've got sparser brows like me, you might just want to add a coat of brow gel just to give them a bit of thickness and a bit of fullness. And the third product for look number one is mascara. I personally think that mascara is a must for pretty much any makeup look. If there was only one makeup product that I could use on my face every day, it would hands down be mascara. But again, this step is completely optional and if you don't want to wear mascara, then you don't have to. And here we have the completed first look. Okay, so moving straight on to look number two, I'm going to go in with foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 125, and to apply that, I'm again going to use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. The great thing about a foundation like this is that it's super lightweight, but also has really good coverage. So I'm just stippling this across my cheek, and then onto my nose and chin. And the great thing about using a makeup sponge is that it also shears out the foundation to give a really, really natural and blended look. I'll also actually link my review of the Miracle Complexion Sponge in the down bar below in case you're interested just to see a few more details about this sponge and me using it in kind of like a first impression tutorial kind of thing. Next product I'm going to apply is some concealer to my under eyes to conceal any darkness. I know that we applied that concealer underneath our foundation for look one, but if I am wearing foundation, I like to personally apply my concealer on top, just so that I'm not moving around and smudging it and blending it out when I'm applying my foundation on top. So I'm just gonna apply a small amount of this concealer on my inner corner, 
and also just under my eye area to highlight as well. And this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural. And then once again, I'm going to blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. This next step is entirely optional, it is not necessary for everybody, but I'm going to go in with a loose translucent powder just to set some areas of my makeup in place. Next I'm going to add some dimension back into the face because after applying foundation sometimes it can look very flat. To do this I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Kit. So here is what the palette looks like, as you can see you have 8 shades, on the bottom row you have your kind of more bronzy contour shades and then on the top row you have your highlighting shades. As I said earlier on, Makeup Revolution does specialise in dupes of higher end products and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I personally have never tried the Anastasia Contour Kit, I have really really wanted to and then when this came out I thought I'll spend a little less money and see how it goes. For the price, this was £8, this little kit is absolutely amazing. You can have everything you ever need to add dimension, highlight, contour to your face. It's absolutely fantastic and I really would recommend this to everybody. So I'm going to go in with a slightly fluffier brush and this bronze shade on the end here and I'm just going to start to bronze up my face. For the second look, I'm not contouring yet because I still want to keep it really soft. So I'm just going to kind of brush this over my cheekbones up onto my temple and around my jawline, again in that three shape. And so for the last step of this look, I am going to fill in my brows just a tin seam a little bit more, just because I feel that when I apply a little bit more makeup to my face and it starts to get a little bit heavier, I just need to add some more definition to my brows. So I've just filled in my brows and as you can see, they are by no means perfect. I did not try to fill them in perfectly, just to keep this really simple and really quick. For some people, this might be too much. You don't have to do your brows like this. For other people, you like to have your brows on point every single day and that is perfectly fine. You just do whatever you feel comfortable with. And here is the finished second look. Okay, so moving on to look number three, I'm going to add some more depth into my eyes using a Maybelline Colour Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow in the shade On and On Bronze. These cream eyeshadows are absolutely amazing, you can use them as bases to apply your shadow on top of, or you can use them completely on their own, which is what I am going to be doing today. And I'm just going to apply this directly to my eyelid. Love these cream eyeshadows because they are so simple to use. It literally takes you no more than 30 seconds per eye just to put this all the way across your eyelid and it immediately just makes your eye pop that little bit more. Obviously at this point it would probably be a little bit easier to apply than how I'm doing it right now because we wouldn't have the mascara on if we hadn't have done all those other steps beforehand. Moving back to the face, I'm going to go back to the Makeup Revolution Contour Kit and I'm going to contour. So this time I'm going to take this middle cool tone shade here on an angled brush and I'm going to contour my cheekbones. Next I'm going to add a pop of blush to my cheeks using a bourgeois blush in the shade Rose de Jasp. And finally for lips I'm going to use this Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in the shade Sweet Pink. And here we have the finished final look number three. Has given you some good ideas for back to school makeup or for your kind of everyday simple work makeup. So as I said throughout this video some of the steps are entirely optional. You don't have to do all the steps, you can take some of my steps out and you can add some of your own steps in. It's whatever you feel comfortable and whatever suits you best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a big thumbs up, it really helps me out and of course please subscribe to my channel as well for more videos which I will be uploading quite a few in the next couple of weeks. I've got many 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 more videos planned for you guys, I'm really excited to film and so I hope you can subscribe to my channel and watch those with me as well. So I will see you guys in my next video, bye guys!